Brielle here. Today we're going to create an interesting crackle design background and we're going to be using a new uh, stencil I designed for the crafters workshop called Bubble Rebound and we're going to be using some fun new paints from Lindy Stamp Gang. These are called squirts and they work really well with this project. So what I did here first was I laid on some just white gesso on some cardboard background and now I'm going to take my stencil and I just lay it down there. It's a 12 by 12 and I'm going to lay on some crackle paste. This one is called Art Extravagance uh, made by Prima I believe. So what I'm doing here is I'm just laying on the texture paste here and what you want to do is lay it on as thick as possible if you want big crackles. If you want thinner, tinier crackles, then you, you can lay it on a little thinner. So I kind of just do a little of both so that I get a big variety on my project. So I left my project to air dry. I believe the crackles come out a little better if you do let it air dry. I'm not sure what happens if you try to heat dry it. So I left it for quite a few hours to do so. So here I'm using Lindy Stamp Gang. Um, it's their squirts paints and I'm using a variety of colors from the Great White North collection and from their Northern Lights collection. Um, beautiful deep rich colors and these work so nicely because they have a nice flow to them so for this project they're just perfect. I'm going to be listing uh, the colors on the screen here so I'm using everything from Banff blue to maple syrup, bronze I believe it is, looney toony blue, all fun sort of Canadian names, polite people purple, love that one. <laughs> if you know Canadians you'll get the joke. <laughs> I'm just adding the colors onto the background, creating kind of a rainbow effect. Um, using some water to kind of fade in the colors into one another. And I'm not really doing any special design, just, just you know, patches of color here and there, letting them fade into each other. is a very interesting paint because depending on what surface you're working on it comes out differently. It's a very deep dark beautiful color paint um, and it has nice beautiful shimmer in it um, but using it on a surface like I am here it's working well for me because I want it to run nicely into the creases of the crackle paint and that's exactly what it's doing for me as you saw when I pulled up the uh, canvas towards the camera a little bit you can see how nicely it goes into the crackles. So for my purposes here I'm getting a really beautiful kind of a watercolor effect especially as I'm using water to help fade the colors into each other um, but as I said if you were using it on another surface you would get an entirely different effect. You'll also notice that I'm constantly shaking my bottles of paint uh, because these do have the mica powders in them which settle at the bottom of the bottles. So I like to always give it a good little shake before I actually apply the paint so that the shimmers come up with it. So 
So I've allowed my paint to dry and now I'm just going over it and I'm taking a variety of the colors and I'm just adding them to my little circles. And I'm doing a little darker on the outside edges and fading it in towards the center with just clear water. So while I'm working on each of the circles, I'm also going to be coming in with Lindy's Hockey Puck Black uh, to add some shadow to the circles. This is going to give it a really nice rounded, almost bubble effect. I'm going a little darker on the bottoms of the circles so that uh, it gives that nice dimension. video play out as I'm adding the colors because this is one of those projects where you just you know what take your time enjoy the process play with the colors have a good time with it Sometimes when I apply the paint, I also like to just let it sit for a few seconds. As you can see, it's seeping into the cracks and really bringing out that crackle effect. And then I just come in with a little bit of water and I fade it in towards the center. So here I've completed my circle painting and I'm going to come in now with a Faber-Castell Big Brush Pit Pen. Uh, I'm just sort of drawing around the edges of the circles and I'm rubbing it in so that it fades towards the center a bit. It just highlights the circles nicely. Um, don't worry about getting like a perfect round or going over the edges because I'm going to come in later with the gold into the creases that the stencil has created. So this can be, you know, pretty loosey-goosey. <laughs> So now that I'm done this, I'm going to come in with the Jacquard Pinata Brass Metallic Paint. And I've got a paintbrush that's just about the right width that the stencil created uh, to make those little creases. And so you can see here, I've just painted them all in and you can see the shimmer as I move the uh, background piece that it's got a really beautiful gold effect. And now I'm just using a white Sharpie and I'm just putting a little highlight at the top right side of each bubble uh, just to give it even more of a curved effect and once you're done that you're pretty much done your project you can complete it by you know adding whatever you like a large butterfly a saying whatever you want to do to create your piece of artwork hope you enjoyed this project um, you can find all of the products I used down below in the description area with uh, links to where you can find them Thanks so much for watching.